today we are casting the concrete yes, yes. for the rooftop. Yes, yes, yes. So as I can see, yes, we have the beam and block technology mm. and these are T beams. How did you incorporate this technology for, for this uh, particular house? First, uh, the reason why we used uh, the T beam vis a vis the flat beams is because of uh, the time schedule that we have. As you can see, we had to do the RC or rather the columns and the beam first. Mm -hmm. And now, after the beams have cured, is when we place the T beam. Now, the advantage of the T beams, yes. you don't need to use the props. Yeah. You don't need to use the props in between the supports. Mm -hmm. So after we do the 75 millimeter concrete topping today, we are able to continue with the interior works finishes yeah. as the slab cures. Yeah. So it will help us meet the timeline also that we have because we are like on a very tight schedule. Yes. Yes. So it's a big, big time saver. Yeah, yeah it's a very big, big time saver uh -huh. because uh, if you use the flat beams, we'll have to wait for not less than 14 to 21 days yeah. for curing. Yeah. So and that thing will continue when you're using it. Yeah. But for, for us, in this case, the T-beams will continue with the finishes and the, the other ground floor works mm -hmm. as it cures. Because uh, we only need to do the parapet on top. Yes. So that's the only painting work that will be remaining for the roof, for the top side. Whenever a client does a suspended slab yes. for, a, for a bungalow, yes. uh, they're doing it as a future proofing uh, thing. Because I'm assuming that the client will want to extend into a mansion it later on. Yes, yes, yes. That's why she wants to uh, cater for the cost of Ex the slab right now. Exactly. So, for example, in this case, uh, this client, this house is uh, is constructed in a way like it's a mansion it. Yes. So as she, when she want because she is a she. Yes. Uh, want to continue with the uh, with the first floor. She's able to do that uh, evenly and it will be at less cost because, uh, because everything is catered for. The foundation is done correctly, yes. the ground floor is done correctly, the and also the suspended slab is done correctly. Mm -hmm. Yes. So she can extend whenever she wants. Whenever she ready. wants, up to, I guess, second floor. Not yes. guess, up to the second floor, not yeah. more than second floor, because we use the, 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 the D12. For, okay, for the, the columns. columns. Yes, yes. Okay. What's the cost per square meter for the T beams? Yeah, for the T beam, the cost per square meter is 4,200. Yeah. This includes the materials, yes. it includes transportation, yeah. and also it includes the labor. Yeah. So everything included, it's uh, 4,200 per square meter for okay. the T beams. Yeah. And is that cheaper than the conventional? Slab? Yeah, it is. It is very cheaper because uh, if you compare 4200 per square meter, yeah. and the topping concrete is 75 millimeters, yeah, yeah. and uh, that goes at around 450 per square meter for the topping. So mm -hmm. if you do all those costs uh, for this suspended slab vis-a-vis -vis the in situ RC slab, yes. it's very very affordable. Very and time saver, of course. Yeah. Yes. Because also for the conventional, you love to use more timber props. And more timber props, a lot of steel. Yeah. A lot of steel, of course, and also more concrete. Yes, and also the the hiring cost for the steel trappers. Exactly, and all the trappers and everything. So if you compare all that cost that entails the conventional slab and beam to beam slab, yeah. this one is very very much affordable. You are looking at a saving of not less than twenty five percent when you're using the the, the T beams, of course. Yeah. So that's the first scenario where you can consider this. Yeah. And also in terms of saving time and also the, the ease of doing electrical and plumbing works. Okay. As you can see how it's done in a beam and block, yeah. it's very easy and uh, efficient. You cannot miss. You cannot miss a point. Okay. Exactly. A flat beam is cheaper than T beams. When you compare the flat beam, when you say about the materials, yeah. yes, the flat beam will appear cheaper. But we compare if you compare the whole cost, the props that we'll need for the support, the T beams, uh, the the flat beams and the blocks, yeah. vis a vis the T beams and the blocks. Yeah. The cost it's almost the same, mm -hmm. but where the T beam beats the flat beam, yeah. it's time. Yeah. Yeah. It, this one is very fast, and uh, it will help you continue. And it's stronger, of course. Okay. It's stronger. Definitely. Because, it's very it's stronger, stronger than flat than, than the flat beam. You yes. can feel it. Yes. Eh? Yes. It's stronger than the flat beam. So as a professional level, because I'm a structural engineer, I prefer more the T-beams than the flat, flat beams. Beam. So 75 millimeters, top uh, the slab will be 150? Yeah, the slab will including be... Including uh, now the... Including the... The T-bar. The, the Today we are just in preparation of doing the topping, the concrete toppings. In the next around uh, 20 minutes, we'll have started everything. You can see all the aggregate materials are down there. Yeah. And uh, in the next two, two to three hours, we'll be done. We'll leave it for QR. Yeah, also, the plumbing guys are finishing up their task. You can see the flow traps are all here. And also the electrical guy yeah. is also trying his best to finish up. 
before we start and uh, we're also setting up the brc so that we do the topping all and it will it must be waterproofed of course yes yes I it, want must. To about it must be waterproof so you've seen we have the doctor visit waterproofing there yeah uh, which will be mixed with the topping as we do it at an uh, invisible gradient in that uh, the water will not settle at the floor it will just be directed to, to the, the floor, floor we have like around we have around five floor traps yeah on top yeah so it will all be directed to the to the floor traps this is your third week yeah this construction is, yeah, yeah this is my third week this is my third week. third week yeah this is my third week. how long do you anticipate now to be done with the entire house we are looking after we are done today the next two and a half weeks will be done Okay. Now we are talking about the finishes. Yes. As you can see, we are doing the, the window weldings yeah. and the doors. So at the next two and a half weeks, uh, confidently, we will be done with this project. Okay. Because also the client timeline, she's looking at uh, before the third week of next month to, to already have moved in. Okay. So we are on top and on So all on the there. materials that she wanted were to save time and cost. Exactly. Well. They were to the save time and cost. Panels. The T beams and blocks, exactly. exactly. So that once you start with the finishing, everything is uh, streamlined. Everything is streamlined. For example, like today is on uh, today is on Friday. So yeah. next week, or rather from tomorrow Saturday, yes. And next week we'll have started the finishing work, the skimming works on uh, on the ground floor, yeah. And the plastering and the slab. So uh, in the next two and a half weeks, the project will be done. So we looked at a way, and also the client was looking at, at a solution that she will help. It will help her save time save a lot of time and also affordable yeah and that's where it came to the, to the precast technology yeah and that's where we met yes and we agreed on everything till next time come during the finishing yes. process and then also the final tour with the client exactly we'll appreciate much and uh, also thank you for the viewers we really appreciate your support and uh, may god bless you always thank you nick thank you thank you